My god. Alright guys, welcome to another edition of Starwind Aquariums. So, today's topic, as you've seen, uh, I was testing my, um, my tank with the Hannah Checker. So right now my alkalinity is 7.4 and um, my uh, phosphorus is uh, 73. So it was at 20, so yet again, uh, still leaching for some reason. Uh, out my tank. So my topic is dun 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 coralline algae. So basically I would think with corals too that if it had high phosphorus, high phosphate obviously there would be no calcification, there would be um, no coral growth as I can see that I did lose a lot of color in most of my corals and I was experimenting with these but I also see a lot of polyp extension. Um, the color's not that great, but the polyp extension is actually, let me focus in there, um, is actually coming out as you can see all the polyps coming out of that one. And obviously there's a nice little extension. There is also some growth in some of them. And I'm just like, wow, you know, like I never would have thought we're trying to focus on not that one where am i this one you see all the little polyps and everything actually really on here but um i did get it with it's hard to focus this since i'm using my phone but um you can see also a lot of extension so i'm thinking like wow so this wall right here let me get to it so it's covered right and it started like two weeks ago, I would say. Speckles, like really speckles. Like it wasn't even that intense. I can see that um, it grew pretty fast over a two week span. So a lot of people think like coralline algae, like oh, it takes years to grow. It's a slow grower. Well, not in here. Um, my phosphorus has always been high. Um, my salinity, I, I keep at 0 0.23 to 0 0.25, but if it gets to 2.5, I bring it down to um, 0.23 by just adding more water. And so my nitrites are not even that high. As you can see, um, shade old factory down there, I know it's bright, but I got the little mangroves ready. Got this nasty thing, my little sponges in the corner, and the filter sock is ready to be changed. And that's a 200 micron sock. Um, I do have the, um, the what's it called? The 10 micron, which I'm about to use with some phosphate remover since it's 73. Been really trying to um, drip it, so I have this little setup right there going to drip it um, through the tank. I can also see that um, I stopped using some of my products. I still use coral aminos and I stopped using um, Nopox uh, for a little bit to make the chato grow and just try to focus on that light to make the chato grow. Got some more little snails and all that. Everything seems happy but I'm wondering still like you can see like even on the rocks right now that little spurts of growth is actually hitting the rocks. Um, I start, I'm starting to see way more purple and I'm just like, my phosphates are high. So the, the theory of like, oh, well, high phosphates will get you nowhere. Yes, I'm still struggling with uh, these guys. They're actually starting to core, uh, color back up. They were pretty pale. And those are two um, Acropora that I was just doing an experiment on just to see how the tank was gonna go but all these other ones are Montipora down here or uh, Digitatus and I'm just experimenting so they're actually coming back because I wasn't about to spend a whole bunch of money again on corals and then put it in this tank where it's just like mayday mayday it's not gonna work <laughs> you know so I'm just experimenting um, I can see that even on this rock back here you can also start seeing growth in there like little purple patches or a greenish color because there's also this green coralline back there you see those dark spots at first i was like what is that so i'm thinking all coralline is like purple and as you can see on there it's pink 
or it seems to be pink and some seems to be more purple it's a purple pink but then there's these black spots and when I did something on the forum it was like well you know Coraline comes in many different colors and so there's there's greens too and I'm thinking like well, green like this looks like some disease like what is that and you can see this wall is all covered with it that's my first wall so this is completely covered there's no spectacles or anything and then even my uh, and also something I do dose is sponge power so I, I do dose that every once in a while I, I dose um, a little bit of here and there but Coraline algae been popping uh, and I think the main culprit too and I saw a lot of growth and a lot of faster growth is when I used um, calc washer and so I started using calc washer and BAM um, it, 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 it accelerated the growth like pretty much back in the day I also used um, what's this stuff called oh I'm trying to um, purple up or you know one of those those joints and all it was just nothing but calcium in the bottle um, you can just do do it yourself, but it, it worked for a while um, It was cool with that and the only other thing I think I'm trying to remember everything I dose in here And I also do use manganese and iron supplement for the coral So I don't know if the manganese in there because you do have to be careful with iron Because that's how you dose too much iron. You're gonna have a lot of algae issues. Trust me. I use um, pure iron before don't do it guys <laughs> you're gonna have die uh, like all kind of brown sludge everywhere cyanobacteria it was it was bad like I dosed a heavy dose and sometimes I do still dose um, nitrite potassium nitrite or nitrate um, just to get the acceleration growth for the the chato I keep my light my chato light on about yeah, like 13 no, yeah, no more than 15 hours a day sometimes it's not reversed it's just sometimes at the same time um, just to get some growth and you do need to have that light off so maybe that's making everything go down and good growth I don't know I really can't explain it um, but things are actually looking up as you can see if you've seen some of my other videos I, this was all brown and there was no polyp extension and so these uh, acros probably going to take a couple of months because they're all like hissy. But there is like some nasty stuff growing on there. So I'm hoping the snail gets to it. Um, but yeah, um, thanks guys for watching. Any questions on Coraline? This tank is pretty old. I think it's going on its sixth to seventh year, I believe. Um, I always didn't have this tank. It's transfer. So some of the rocks are super old. Um, this one right here. If you can see in my finger, it's my first rock. I still have it, and it's actually um, going pretty smooth. So thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.